Hello, Chris Kerman, the founder of Omaha Insurance Solutions. I invite you to like this YouTube video and then also if you would please subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And visit my website, omahainsurancesolutions.com. My mother passed away February 4, 2013 of ovarian cancer. I first heard the, the C word uh, in November of 2011. She called me up and told me over the phone that she had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Uh, of course, I was shocked, but I suppose it might have been either a bit of denial or the fact that my grandfather had had cancer five times and beat it each time. My mom's mom, uh, she had had cancer previously and likewise had overcome it. And so when I heard that, I was thinking, well, you know, this will just be one of those things that, that mom will, will get over. Matter of fact, uh, my father was much, much sicker than my mom. He had had a kidney transplant 16 years before. He was COPD on oxygen, just really in poor health. We were kind of expecting him uh, to go first. That was, was the plan, uh, but uh, things never go uh, as they're planned. And so I'd like to talk to you today about cancer in relationship to Medicare and your health plan. First, uh, are you prepared in terms of the whole issue of cancer? Uh, second, uh, how does Medicare work in relationship to cancer treatment? And third, what should you do? So are you prepared? Uh, the leading cause of death among people 65 and older is cancer. And once you turn 65, the chance of developing cancer is 10 times more likely than when you're below 65. And among all new cases of cancer in the country, 54% are among individuals 65 and older. So cancer is, is a real issue to consider once you go on Medicare. And then also you have to look at your, your own history, your family history, your parents, your grandparents, even if you had had cancer before, all that goes into the mix in terms of how I'm gonna prepare for Medicare and my particular health insurance. Now, how does Medicare work in relationship to cancer treatment? Medicare Part A is for the hospital. Part B is for the doctor and outpatient procedures. Most of your cancer treatments are gonna be with Part B. Now, Part B covers 80% of all treatments, and we're speaking here about chemotherapy, radiation, that sort of thing. It's an outpatient procedure. You're on for 20%. Now, again, the important thing about that 20% that you're on, that coinsurance, is it is unlimited. If you have only original Medicare, the 20% is unlimited. As the bills roll in, your money rolls out. And cancer treatments, you can, you can look. I, I put it in an article on the website as well, blog, but cancer treatment can be 10,000, 20, all the way up to 60, 70,000 uh, dollars in a given year, depending on how many episodes that you have. And 20% of that kind of number is some serious money. And so you need to consider that in terms of your Medicare planning because Medicare, original Medicare, again, would be unlimited on that 20% that you would owe. Medicare Advantage plans are gonna put caps on your maximum out of pocket and Medicare supplements may cover some or actually all of those treatments. And so that's how Medicare works in relationship to chemotherapy and other cancer treatments. Third, what should you do? What I would recommend is not talking to a relative, especially one who may have had cancer. The reason being their experience of Medicare in relationship to treatment is very, very limited to their experience. And there's a lot of emotion around it. You'll hear stories about doctors, what they should or shouldn't have done, about billing departments that didn't code things correctly and bills that came in, and about uh, treatment that may have been denied or not denied. It'll all be very emotional and will cloud your judgment. What I would recommend is talking to somebody who's very experienced in terms of Medicare, not doing it part-time, but been in the business for years, who can lay out all of the different plans in your particular state and the pricing, which is very, very important, and explain to you how they work, especially in relationship to something like cancer, if that is a concern of yours. And so he or she can show you how you can prepare and plan uh, for uh, your retirement at 65 and older. Now the C word's a scary word. When I, when I heard it uh, back then in, in 2011, the nice thing is my parents had prepared. Uh, and so we didn't have to worry about bills. They had taken care of those kinds of things. We were able to focus on my mom's recovery. And when she didn't recover, uh, the, the days 
the weeks that we had uh, in her passing. That's the beauty of, of insurance when you prepare and plan well. It gives you that peace of mind so you can focus on what's important.